Robbie Wong here, going to do a wrap-up video on Nyssa as the commander. So the, fir the first thing is there's a lot of these decks that have some kind of ramp in the beginning like Nyssa. And the, the thing about Green's ramp selections are they're either mana dorks like Gilded Goose and Incubation Druid, or they take lands and put them straight into the battlefield. So they both have their pros and cons, and they both have their own flavor, but I feel like this is way more guaranteed to ramp. The, the versions of the deck that use any of the, the creatures that put extra lands into the battlefield, you have to have them in hand. And if you don't, then it's not a ramp spell. Now it's just a really, really bad creature. So they, they might be more explosive, they might be more fun, but this, this felt more guaranteed to make the land drops happen so that way we could get to five ahead of curve. And Nyssa, who shakes the world ahead of curve, is, is just a nightmare because she's her own, she can protect herself really well, she ramps into the bigger spells so that even though these have converted mana cost eight, seven, six, it, it doesn't matter because you're, you're doubling the amount of mana you have. So I am a big fan of having a lot of removal spells in this format. Very, very creature centric. There's very little combo. So you can defend that axis better because you don't have to be as paranoid about suddenly being comboed out. Although I do have a combo deck I want to try very soon here, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm a little guilty of putting more fight spells in, but with this deck, they're also creatures, so at a minimum they're going to destroy something, at a maximum, or at a minimum they're going to trade, and then at a maximum they're going to go ahead and stick around on the board and continue to deal damage through combat steps. So I, I really like this this fight package, this, this brawl fight package, and I really like uh, these other spells that also allow you to take their creatures off the board. I am not convinced Yorvo has earned his slot here. Yorvo is more impressive with mutate cards, and we only have the one. And it's not even... So we're looking at two-card synergy. He is ahead of Kurd. He is a 4-4 four, four for 3, but outside of that, not sure. Questing Beast, solid. <laughs> Finale of Devastation, the combo aspect of it, uh, it was enjoyable. It happened at least once on stream. And I really like being able to find these other fight cards, too. So, Lead the Stampede is in the wrong column, but Once Upon a Time and Lead the Stampede, they're, they're not strict tutors like Finale, but they get really close. Uh, having Grind in this format, I think, is also valuable. The higher life totals and the less consistency and the absence of combo encourages the format to go... A little bit longer so having play in the long game is great I loved having cards that doubled like this could be in both columns although I never did use return of the wild speaker as a mega anthem I'm pretty convinced about this set of 60 I, I think finding finding better versions of them or more efficient versions of them is the direction you want to take it if this if this continues to be a thing I I'm convinced that, and I need more evidence, but I'm convinced Nyssa is, is the correct mono green or more optimal mono green commander. The other ones are, are fun, but maybe they don't, they're not going to have the impact that Nyssa does. So the win rate, we played 10 games on stream, we won 8 of them, so 80% win rate, uh, and the games off stream were about the same, getting to know the deck or if I wasn't a bit, didn't have uh, access. So, highly recommend this deck. It's a lot of fun. Most of the rares and, and mythics in here are also format staples, so you don't have to really invest in anything crazy other than kind of Kugla. Uh, Thorn Mammoth uh, is not a format staple in the, in the constructed formats, but he's good, in this, especially in this format. So, Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'm Robbie Wong, and I'll catch you on the next one.